Welcome back, everybody. Tapioca pudding has been a favorite for decades, but nowadays, many people are eating tapioca in the form of boba balls. What exactly are boba balls and what are they made of, you may ask? <laughs> well, Dan Kohler, our food scientist, is here with all those answers. He certainly is. Welcome, he has Dan. those answers, but can he name three state capitals? Oh, Apparently not. I no. Do you want to try it again? No. I don't want to play that game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want you to. Yeah. I oh. just love, like, we have found a crack team. in That is my armor. weakness. His Achilles heel. It's your kryptonite. So, as we, oh, as we yeah. saw earlier, Kim brought her pumpkin. We've been asking family members to decorate pumpkins and bring them in. Yep. So it's your turn for your big reveal. It is. Uh, and just like Kim, I, I, I slaved over this. Yes, yes. Oh. Wow. Oh, it's pie. 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 I see what yeah. you did It's pumpkin yeah. pie. Yeah. Pumpkin oh, pie. my uh, it's pumpkin, pie. Wow. pumpkin pie. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Pumpkin pie is better than pie equals you, MC squared. I'm sorry, what was that? A pumpkin equals MC squared. <laughs> <laughs> that, that works yeah. better. That works yeah. better. Leave the math jokes to Mark. Right. Yeah, uh, exactly. Imagine. <laughs> I, I have to say, there's thought actually goes into that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. I mean, thought goes into that one. That one. Did I miss something? <laughs> I don't know. You know what, Dan? Where the, does tapioca come listen, from? Let's get, let's get focused here. There you go. So as with everything I investigate, I, I, I often find ancient roots. And in this case, that is literally what I found. So this plant right here is called, it's got a number of names. It's called cassava. It's also called manioc. It's also called yucca. Not to be confused with yucca. Oh, One C, not oh, two. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Now, this plant is really important. Uh, it was first domesticated about 10,000 years ago in Brazil, and it's eaten throughout Central and South America and even into Africa now. It was really important. So we've got pictures of it. It's important to Mesoamerican cultures. That's Aztec, Inca, and Olmec societies because it's so starchy. It's so full of carbohydrates. And for a new civilization, carbohydrates are energy. Yeah. Now, when we process this, we use it for those carbohydrates. And the first thing you get when you process this is right here. This is tapioca flour. Now, the word tapioca comes from that, that old uh, Brazil word, tipioca, which is what they would have used. They would have used this to coat things, to make things thicker, and also to bake. Uh, and you can make breads out of this. It's totally gluten-free. So, that, you know, this is a very multi-purpose solution. And then as you process it further, you get things that we're more familiar with. So these are tapioca pearls that you would find in tapioca pudding. Mm -hmm. But more often now, they're made into larger pearls. Right here we have boba balls. It's the exact same thing. It's tapioca flour that's just been processed with a little water. And actually, I, I came in, I did this yesterday because I want to show you that you can do this at home. It's, it's really simple. It's kind of fun to do if you've got kids around. All you do, it's, a, it's sort of a, a mess right there. And you just measure out about three to one uh, tapioca flour to boiling water. You're going to just kind of go back and forth. You want to knead it. At first, you're going to find, ah, it's a little too grainy. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit more water to this. There's no exact science. I know with me, you're expecting exact science. But this one's a little more <laughs> improvisational. It's still a little dry, you can see. Now I'm going to add a little, bit, a little bit more boiling water. And this time, you'll see, actually, you can see it's way too sticky. Right, so it's just one more, one more dump of tapioca flour. And we've got a perfectly smooth dough. There we go. Just knead mm. it between your hands. That. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna pinch off a little bit of this, and then I'm gonna roll it into a log. Once you've got the log, just cut it into little nubs. Now this is not gonna be as perfect as machine-made tapioca. You wanna roll these nubs into little balls. Oh, what perfect, there we go, yeah. Now you're gonna drop those into a, ball, in a bowl, and now I've got some boiling water coming up, and you just wanna boil these for somewhere between five and eight minutes. They'll sink first, and then they'll float, and you see they grow immensely in that water. And after that, you just drain them, and I keep them in simple syrup. This is sort of an important step right at the end there. Why do you put them in the simple syrup? You yeah. Know, what? So if you don't put them in simple syrup, they're gonna dehydrate and also they're gonna have no flavor. So you guys are all drinking some boba right there yeah. now. But if you uh, if you taste, these are the these are the original uh, tapioca them. balls yeah. that have not been sweetened. This is just out of the boiling water, and you'll see they have almost no flavor. Oh, they're slimy. <laughs> they're very slimy. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they're like oh. Yeah, yeah. It's not That's not like... your favorite. They need some sugar. <laughs> I'm not doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of that tea, once you've made the tapioca wow. balls, <laughs> this could not be easier. I've just got I've got a glass here with some of those sweetened tapioca balls and just some heavy black tea. You can use green tea if you'd like. Fill it up about three quarters of the way. And then I like a little condensed milk in mine. But if you want something a little fruitier, what I've got here are some tropical juices. And these are really just as easy to stir in. And then you've got a perfect 
after school drink. Do we have condensed wow. milk in ours? Yes, you do. Yeah. So how long could you keep the tapioca balls in the... You know, in the simple syrup, you've got about a week or 10 days on those. And so if you want to make a big batch and have them for, you know, an after school snack all week, you're good. So if you don't put them in the simple syrup, they come out like that? That's exactly what they come out as soon as you boil them. So they have to be in the simple syrup to yeah. get smushy, like this, yeah. because that kind of tastes like cement in mm -hmm. the middle of yeah, the Yeah, they need oh, wow. I think it's really good. Yeah. That extra you hydration. Like, oh my God. <laughs> 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 this is a good snack. Can you, uh, Are you kidding, you kidding me right now? Really good. Paige. Do you use yeah. any kind of flavoring? Oh, yeah. Or any kind of syrup and flavoring? You can use else? any, you know, once you've got. You, once you've got that simple syrup, you can you can flavor it a thousand ways. Okay. Oh my goodness, I definitely would flavor them, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, for this recipe, head to our website, and for more on Dan and his amazing little science projects, go to renegadekitchen.com. <laughs> Quick, three state capitals. Yeah. We're coming right back. <laughs> Psychologist Susan Albers is up next. Hey, do you like that? We are going to talk about some very simple, easy things you can do this holiday season to avoid holiday weight gain.